welcome to the Muscle Up Yarn Podcast. Mm -hmm. It is Thursday. It's the 29th of November. I I don't know how that happened. One more day of November. I know, and then December starts. Yep. Crazy. So we are a yarn store in Shelburne, Vermont. Um, You can find the store out on all forms of social media as Muscle Up Yarn. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's pretty much every platform. Uh, Well, maybe not all of them. Like, the big ones, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram Ravelry, mm-hmm. World Wide Web, Twitter. Um, I was just thinking of some of like the WhatsApp and Snapchat. Yeah. And we haven't gotten into those. No. It's hard enough managing them as we do. <laughs> right? So, and I'm Angela. And I'm Kelly. And you can find me out on social media uh, as Junior Bird Kid. And, and I just realized we forgot our mascot. Oh. She was hanging out with William. Yeah. She was behaving herself. That's good. I asked him. Okay. He said she was. He was meerkat minding. Yeah. (laughs) Um, You can find me out on uh, Instagram as Kelly O Spins and on Ravelry as Kelly Spins. You can find our podcast and store mascot, Gage the Meerkat, out on Instagram as M L Y underscore Gage underscore Meerkat. So, and Gage had some shenanigans this weekend and. Some of them are my fault. <laughs> so that so and so anybody who is following the Angela left Gage at home uh, shenanigans on Saturday. Because we had small business Saturday. Yeah. We were all here at the store. And um, my husband actually brought Gage all the while negotiating terms. Um, like an appearance fee and a private du- dress room and some fizzy water and a plate of insects or something. Anyway, <laughs> that's right, the crickets. <laughs> <laughs> plate of crickets. Um, so Gage showed up and so I, we took a bunch with of With her pictures. entourage. <laughs> yep, with the whole entourage, the whole family came. Super exciting. Uh, and then I set Gage up on one of the shelves just as like, oh, she's going to rest up here. And then like partway home that night, I was like, I left the I loved Gage at the store. (laughs) You did? Oh, that's funny. I didn't know that. (laughs) That's really funny. So Gage has been at the store since Saturday. (laughs) That's really funny. I didn't even know that. (laughs) I texted Andrea because I figured she would just die laughing. Um, Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, So apparently I'm a very bad meerkat mom. I can't keep track of my meerkat stuffed animal. (laughs) She probably had all kinds of fun at the store. I know. I was trying to figure out, and then I was like, nah, I don't really want to go through that much effort. If I could log on to our security camera and get a close enough picture of where she was to be like, she's there at the store. But, oh my gosh. yeah, it's not. Anyway, I didn't even try because I was like, nah, yeah. I don't. It's, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> nope. Nope. Um, all right, so now that we've totally derailed this whole podcast by talking about not knitting related things, mm-hmm. we like to start our podcast with our picks of the week. We do. Um, and so the way this works is for two weeks following the airing of the episode, you can get 10% off in our online store by using the coupon code we give you, or you can, if you shop in person in the store, you can also. Uh, get 10% off by using the same coupon code when you check out. Mm -hmm. Uh, And we did a tutorial in episode 73 about where the coupon code goes. Mm -hmm. Uh, So if you have any questions, please pop back to that episode and uh, take a look. Um, I put put up a picture uh, of where it goes and what the screen looks like um, for you to get to the spot where the code goes. Yep. So. Cool. Um... And I think the only thing that's kind of weird is if you're paying with, I think, PayPal, you actually have to go to PayPal and then come back and, and then, then put the coupon code yeah. in. Yeah. Um, so that's the only one where, because we keep we always do say, if you don't see the coupon code there, you haven't put it in the right spot. But if you're paying with PayPal, you have to actually go through the payment process and come back yeah. and then put the code in. Yeah. Um, so I think that can... And then it does, it could, because it's connected to your PayPal account, it tallies yeah. it and takes it off here. Yeah. Um, but if you're checking out through the site using your credit card, you should, when you hit the payment screen, again, that's where the coupon code comes up. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes. So that's the deal. So we have, um, we have a pick this week that's sort of a twofer. 
So one of them's uh, new to us in store. Uh, the DK version of this yarn is new to us in store. We've had the worsted weight version for a while, mm -hmm. um, but we also picked the worsted weight version because I'm gonna start another knit along. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. All right, Hi. so you get 10% off either the worsted or DK weight yes. version of this yarn. So let me grab it. And this is one we've done before, but it's really lovely and you guys loved it. We sold. Yeah quite a lot of this to you using the code last time we did this so without further ado we're gonna do um, the Barocco ultra wool and ultra wool DK and these are only just some of the colors that we have um, we've got a lot of colors oh especially gosh, so many the colors. worsted weight we've got a lot um, and the DK weight I think we've got 16 colors in um, so we've got a lot in the in the DK as well um, so they're great. It's 100% super wash wool, and they're $10.99 a skein. Um, so great for pretty much any project out there. Mittens, <laughs> yeah. hats, sweaters. Good for kids stuff because it is washable. Mm -hmm. and so um, look at all those colors. That's amazing. And we do have a lot of other neutrals. Um, with, there's creams and whites and other grays. Um, these are, like I said, just a, a small sampling just of ones that I grabbed. Mattering. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a really, really nice yarn. Um, I've used it for some different projects before. So yeah. Um, if you're looking for some nice washable wool, check this out. Um, in either the DK or the worsted weight ver version, and we've got the links in show notes so that you can just click on those. Um, and then with what discount code do we want to do? Um, weekly pick, love wool, love wool, love wool. Okay, how's that? Love wool, love wool. There you go. Perfect. I'll probably make that the title of the podcast too, and then people will be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I know. So I can't help myself. There's some really pretty ones. Oh, I love yeah, this red. So gorgeous. This is like a really deep heathered red. Yeah, so pretty. I love it. It's awesome. I know. That's a good. That's a good one. It is. Yeah. That's a nice yarn. Nice, I nice agree. yarn. I agree. So. I Baroque Ultra Wool and Ultra Wool DK. Weekly pick, Love Wool. Love Wool. Get you 10% off for two weeks. Okay. Cool. And thanks for everybody that has taken advantage of our picks of the week and mm -hmm. um, free shipping that we did this last yeah. weekend. So Yeah, we love being able to offer discounts to you yeah. when we can on things. Absolutely. So and thanks to everybody who came out for Small Business Saturday. Oh my gosh, yeah, it was, was fabulous. So we had much so much fun. fun. We raised a lot of food and money for the food shelf. Seventy-one pounds of food, guys. Is that what we did? Yeah, that's great. We had a scale there, um, and for it being such a like a last minute, like oh, yeah. hey, we should do this thing, um, for us to raise seventy-one pounds and cash. I think I, we seventy-five had seventy-five dollars cash of cash yeah. donations. Um, so I think that's that's amazing. Um, I think we'll do it again next year on yeah. Mamas this Saturday. So let's double was, our numbers yeah, next it was year. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were and the food they food shelf people were super happy. I think they you know they appreciate any, any donations. donations. It all yeah. helps. Well, and especially you know a lot of people will up through Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. um, and because that's such a you know food oriented yep. holiday, they think of the food shelf and that they do a lot of the food drives for that. We ended up bringing this actually after Thanksgiving, yep. um, so that they can start stocking back up for Christmas, for Christmas and, and the winter. just the cold. Yeah, it's you know so cold here that it's yeah. nice to be able. To absolutely help them out absolutely um so that was awesome i dropped all that stuff off on monday yeah um, up there nice at the food shelf so that was good thank you everyone yeah um and thank you to the people who donated online too yeah we did get everybody's entries and we put everybody's entries in and um i announced on Instagram, um, the, the winners, and I also sent them their gift cards in their email. Um, so um, Kathy H. was one, and uh, Jesse M. is the other. Nice. So um, if I know one of, one of them sometimes catches the podcast, the other one I'm not sure about. Um, so nice. Yeah, those are the two, and um, 
Awesome. Great. Congratulations, ladies. Yeah. So thank you, everybody, for contributing. Mm -hmm. um, Excellent. Yeah. So we we got some hand knits that we're wearing today, both of us. We do. Yeah. We're both wearing FOs. <laughs> do two sections at once, except I've got some more stuff. <laughs> Like, like a crazy knitting machine. I've discovered bulky yarn. I was like, I can finish projects in like a day. <laughs> Excellent. So you finished your sweater. I did. So you guys know that the knitting was done on this, but I hadn't done the zipper yet. And I wanted to have um, some time where I could sit down and video the seeking process. Mm. Um, so I had lots of plans for Tuesday, but we ended up having a pretty substantial snowstorm yeah. um the roads were not great actually it's funny my husband you know drives a lot but he was like yeah they're some of the worst i've seen in quite some time just because they were really really greasy it was a really heavy snow a lot of people lost power we had thousands of people without power here yeah um so anyway i kind of scrapped the plans that i had and stayed home and got a lot of stuff done that i've been meaning to do there and one of them was my sweater Yay. so i haven't um i'm gonna go through and at least uh cut cut it the way where, where i want because there was a lot of just me sitting at the sewing machine like <laughs> pushing it through sewing so you don't need to watch all of that or i can speed it up um and then i might hand it over to Ange for final editing, editing. Um, so that she doesn't have to have this big, massive file of me, me just sewing. Some music overlay. <laughs> Find something really funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So um, so it went really well sewing this in. I, um, it looks I fantastic. I sewed the steak on my sewing machine, mm -hmm. and then I kind of just tacked the zipper in on my sewing machine, and then I hand sewed um, along the edge um, okay. because I wanted that really nice and clean and wanted to make sure that I got that lined up where I wanted to with the zipper. Um, so I am, the only other thing I am going to do, so it was pretty clean on the inside where the steak is, but I am going to get um, some ribbon. I want to find maybe some pretty, a pretty gold ribbon or something mm. and just sew over the edge of the zipper and tack it down on the sweater too, just to cover that up, just to finish it off a little bit. But um, it's, it's pretty clean on the inside anyway. Um, but just to just to finish that off so it's really yes. finished finished nice um, but it's definitely very wearable now um, so and it came out it came out well it lays nice and flat mm -hmm. um, which is good and um, it's really warm yeah it's a really 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 warm sweater so but it looks awesome thank you I was really happy with it so Nice. Yeah. Nice. So I finished um, my winter lake shell mesh emergency notwithstanding. <laughs> um, so here it is so in pretty. all of its glory. These beautiful like cable sideways cool. cables. Yeah, They're so fun. cool. Um, so it's a really fun pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, so if, if it's a worsted weight shawl so if you're looking for you know s a quick shawl project um with maybe some new techniques i would highly recommend this one the pattern directions are really straightforward really well written um and super fun like i think as kelly was talking last time like this would also be really cool in just all one color mm -hmm. um it has written for three colors but because there's texture different mm -hmm. texture in each section so mm -hmm. it really divides it out it would yep. be really pretty yeah and i th i think if you were going to do it all in one color i think you would still need the three skeins um so i had just a little tiny yeah. bit of the gray left um maybe a third of to a half of a bottle of the pink and a little bit less of this so not i still think you'd need three yeah. Because you're probably going to use close to two and a half yeah. um, for the whole shawl. But um, very warm, very wearable. But the like the mesh and stuff, it's not overly hot. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's nice. Um, so that's done. Woohoo. Woohoo. Excellent. Um, I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of my little bag here. Okay. So these guys, done. <laughs> Excellent. Almost three minutes. Anybody that follows me on Instagram saw my kid wearing them this weekend. I 
um, on Saturday. I did have to take them from him. For the podcast. <laughs> um, so he has been kind of wearing them, which mm-hmm. is cool. So those are done. Um, I cast on and mostly fin it. Well, it, the knitting's done. I need to sew buttons on. Oh, those are cute with that. Isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. I Guys, I got buttons out of my button stash. Good for you. I know. So I made this cute little... Let me take that by another because that just makes it look silly right now. This cute little dress. It's really cute. So um, my sister-in-law is expecting uh, next week is when she's due. And I was going to knit this fingering weight sweater, and I cast it on on Saturday, and I knit, like, one row, and I was like, yeah, there's no way. There's no way this is going to get done um, before this child is one. Um, (laughs) Well, probably not, but in time for newborn baby. So I was like, luckily, um, I happened to be working at the yarn store that day, so I was like, all right, plan B, I need something in a worsted weight. Worsted weight. Uh, If you have not been out on um, Cashmere Junkies, pattern page on Ravelry and you're looking for kid knits particularly Mm. for girls like little tunics and dresses and boleros and cute little sweaters she has a ton of stuff nice Um, and the way Ravelry works you can select down I only want to see patterns that use worsted weight Mm -hmm. yarn and so I'm going to do a Ravelry class after Christmas cool Ravelry is so amazing Um, so this is the pattern that I picked to knit um this is what is this called rosy bug i don't think it's bug i think it's bud (laughs) maybe it is rosy bug it's linked in show notes and it's linked to my project page so it's this cute little pullover maybe your version is rosy bug (laughs) (laughs) a tunic dress uh which for a small baby is great um it can be a shirt or a vest when she gets a little bit exactly. older. That's the nice thing because they don't, you know, they don't gain a whole lot of girth. Exactly. It's, you know, so if it doesn't have sleeves, mm-hmm. then it just can turn into a little overshirt. Yeah. And mm-hmm. This can be worn with short sleeves, long sleeves, like mm-hmm. the whole nine yards. It does have three little buttonholes here on the side to go over, you know, baby's ginormous heads because they're freakishly large compared to their bodies um which is why i had the buttons out so these are the buttons that are gonna go on that to give it a little pop of color um the yarn is uh malabrigo rios in the teal feather colorway so there's the button on there she has this cool little pop of color uh and this and this bad boy is done Nice. Just gotta sew the zipper, zipper. Gotta sew the buttons on, and uh, block it. Was debating whether I want to block it first and then sew buttons on, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I can get it in the mail to the recipient. Nice. Yay! That's really sweet. Thank you. So that's done. And then, um, because said baby lives out in Seahawks oh land, my goodness. I made a little tiny hat. And I'm trying to decide. I have a bright gr- lime green pom pom. You didn't put that one. in your FOs. I think it's because I didn't have the button sewn on yet. I know. I'm kind of showing it now, though. But yeah. it I probably was like, counts. Wait, how many <laughs> FOs do you have? A lot. A lot. <laughs> Baby things on worsted and bulky yarn. Yeah. So. That's cute. Is that cute? Look at I love the spiraling. Yeah, that's really cute. Um, I have more of this yarn, and I have the um, pom poms. I have the pom poms, mm-hmm. and I found um, our. We have El Array, the cozy alpaca, that's this really bright blue color. So I bought a skein of oh. that because I found this. I think I'm gonna make for baby's sister, older sister. It's um, it's got ear flaps, mm-hmm. and it's um, actually square. So when you put it on the head, it gives you like, like little, little ears, ears. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can put little pom tassely pom poms on that. So I thought cute. that might be kind of cute. Oh, that would be cute. So they're kind of matchy, but not right. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. So maybe if I start that one, I'll because that that one would probably be a Christmas present. So these two, this one I might set for aside for Christmas, but this one for new baby. Yeah. Christmas for new baby and then another hat for her sister. sister. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that's the transition here for me is I'm starting to work on gift some stuff. gift stuff. Yep. Um, 
I say I'm not going super crazy, and then you're gonna see me put out like probably like seven hats <laughs> in the next two weeks. That's me not going crazy. Um, worst of eight hats. I know. So, I um, know. So those are my big FOs this week because I stopped knitting garments for a bit, trying to get some of these things. So done. I have one other FO, but um. I went to visit my mom this morning, and oh. they're um, knit, ones I knit for her to give to a friend of hers. So I gave them to her, because the rate my mom and I were going, we hadn't seen each other in weeks, and we live like half an hour from each other, which is awful, but we've both been busy. She was out of town for a little while, and then I just I had a crazy schedule. So yeah. um, we haven't been able to catch up. So I went down this morning, because I had to do some other errands, and caught up with her for a few hours and handed off the Airwind mitts to her. Nice. But I took a picture of them. So there they are. They are done. Sweet. So, um, yeah. So those are off to her so she can have them and wrap them up for her friend for Christmas. Oh, cool. And it's so nice. I know. And she's like, what do I owe you? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Um, exactly. And she's like, oh, but your time, I know how much your time. And she does because she sews, so. And I'm like, really? You've done so much for me, yeah, Mom. That, like, it's fine. Yeah. She's an awesome mom, so. Nice. Um, and when I was there, look, she made me a giant what? sweater bag. Isn't that an awesome that size? That is so awesome. And it's got little teacups on it. I love it. I love the little teacups. So, Yeah. So now I have a nice, big, big, big sweater bag. Joyant. That is so So cute. cute. Isn't it awesome? I know. I'm so excited. Yay. It's a good size. So. Joyant. It's perfect. So I have a bunch of stuff that I was trying to get into Project page make project pages for to talk about on the podcast today I did um I got one of them has a project page. the rest of them I just haven't even caught gotten mm-hmm. to it yet mm-hmm. been casting on stuff with that frequency um I have like the Seahawks baby hat like I have the project page up I haven't taken any pictures of it because I knit that thing so fast yeah that's so teensy it was just yeah fly yeah mm. on really small needle smaller needles too so it's that's why it's even smaller really? it's pretty yeah. dense dense yeah um so this one actually does does this one have a project page yes it does so <laughs> so i cast on a pair of fingerless mitts these are going to be for my grandmother um nice. who is 96 years old oh my gosh I that's know. fabulous right? oh my gosh Aww. And I so this is again Malbrio Rios Rios. This is their load the lotus colorway. And I'm calling them my Xmas mitts because the name of the pattern I'm using is the X mitts. Oh. So it's <laughs> just the play on the pattern name. Mm-hmm. Um it's a a pattern by Toby Roxanne Barna. Mm-hmm. It has a really neat pattern on the back of the mitts. Uh, which I'm not doing. Okay. <laughs> I will eventually because I really love it. But I also love just the shape of her mitts. Mm-hmm. So I'm using just the overall recipe. The mm-hmm. um, and the problem is by the time I get to working on these mitts at the end of the day, the stitch pattern that the that it calls for, I cannot wrap my head around mm. what she means <laughs> and so I was like you know what I just I like the way that the mitts look yeah the shape of them so I'm just gonna knit these ones plain for my grandmother cool. and then I'll come back and do the stitch pattern later um when you're in a brain so. space where you can yeah. yeah and I'm sure it's not that hard and part of it is I hadn't printed the pattern page and so and I'm anyway generally working in a semi-dark room mm-hmm. at night and I just need something that I can just knit around in a circle. Yeah. So, nice. um, so this is the second cast on for these because the first one um, was I was kind of just trying to do like a vanilla no pattern type thing and it didn't work that well. So I was like, eh, I need to go find a pattern to follow because <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> that 
happens sometimes. It does. Totally happens sometimes. Yep. It does. Um, so I only have a couple things. So besides doing the mitts and finishing the zipper on my sweater, there's only a couple other things I've really had time to do. Um, I've just been plugging away a little bit. It hasn't changed a whole lot since you guys saw it last. It's maybe a little bit bigger, but I still have a lot of garter to go. But it's really nice just having this as a background project that if I feel like knitting but I don't feel like having to pay attention, I can just pick it up. That's what I've been struggling with lately, is I haven't had too many projects that are good on-the-go projects. Mm -hmm. And I mean, once the square is done and I've got the lace border, it's going to be more involved. But um, for now, it's it's a great it's a great one. And of course, once I get the square done too, it's going to be pretty enormous. Yeah. Um, so it's not going to travel that well. It's not going to travel well. So maybe my new teacup bag will become my hap shawl bag, not a sweater bag. There you go. <laughs> nice. Because um, nice. it takes, it takes a, the bigger one takes a lot of yards, a lot of yarn, like 2,000-ish plus, yeah. Whoa. It's right around there. It's, it's I can't remember, yarn. but it's, it's a big piece. It's like the size of a throw. Yeah. Well, that's true. When, you know, when you're done with it. That's true. So. Yeah. They are big. They are big. So this one that I was casting on and I'm currently working on is um, another hat. Uh, so out on Ravelry, at least as of this morning, um, so Thursday morning, I don't know how long this is, uh, the sale on this pattern is going to last. It's a $6.50 six pattern, which when I purchased it this morning was free. Mm. So I don't, so this is the Knitspiration hat. Oh. <laughs> and what this is is basically a recipe and a pattern for designing your own color work hat. That's very cool. Isn't it cool? So she gives you, just to make sure there's nothing on, nope. Like there's graph paper and directions on how to design your color work on on a hat um she gives you some like a cool little sorry we're getting some glare there like a little card to include in you know this is their handmade um some stitch color work stitch suggestions in the pattern um so I thought, what a great idea. And the inspiration for her behind this pattern was um, her kids. She gives her kids the graph paper, and they design the pattern, and she makes it for, like, teacher gifts. That's so cute. That's Isn't a great that idea. Yeah. So I thought, Because then cool. they're personalized, you know, by the kids. Exactly. So they're involved in the project. That's e cute. Exactly. Um, so I thought, that what a great idea for doing for William, for, for his mm -hmm. teachers, because he's that age where he can help. So that we designed this chart today. So that's what I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> this is how far I am. <laughs> uh, this is how far I am. I'm casting on. Uh, so we're, I'm, I have designs for three color work hats. Um, they're all worsted weight uh, for various teachers uh, of his. And so now, now I got to get them done. <laughs> nice. But the good news is even color work, um, worsted weight hats don't take a huge amount of time mm -hmm. once you get going. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so They're actually kind of fun. You get addicted yeah. to the color work and you're like, oh, I'm just going to do this next just row. Just one more row. Just yeah. one more row. So here's, uh, so here's the new knit along, guys. Um, I was debating whether to do it just hat or to extend it for all color work hats. Um, so you guys tell me. I'm going to start it with this. Mm -hmm. doing the inspiration hat so let's design some color work hats hence the ultra wool is our yes, pick of the week would be perfect would be great um Half. the wool stock that we have that's an awesome even vintage quince and co if you're quince. local mm -hmm. we can do quince and co, no, co over the phone yep. but we don't, can't do it online yep. absolutely any of those would be great mm -hmm. um options for for this yep. S or stash it doesn't take a huge yep. amount of yarn in fact i have like three gallon ziploc bags of odds and ends of worsted because 
yeah. some of the colors that I'm using I've pulled out of the stash for some yeah. of the other hats. Or if you need a full skein for the main part of the hat and then you've got scraps for the, the color mm-hmm. work, I mean, that's always a nice mm-hmm. way of balancing out. Too. So I'm going to start the knit along as this, the Knitspiration hat. So we'll do a Knitspiration knit along. Uh, if you know somebody wants to lobby and convince me that it should be extended to non-design your own color work hats make your pitch and i'll make a call <laughs> but for right now let's do it this way get creative starting saturday starting saturday i'm gonna start it december 1st okay. don't worry i'm gonna run it probably till the middle of, not probably till the middle of january <laughs> i will look at a calendar and pick a date that actually co- corresponds with <laughs> date we podcast um, subject to my crazy other work schedule, because mm-hmm. January might get a little weird. So, oh, January is so weird. you might get a ridiculously long amount of time to knit hats for the snow long. Um, so the seventeenth is a Thursday. Okay, so let's do that one. Seventeenth. So no long will start December 1st, and it'll run through January 17th. Do you so want it to end the 17th or end the 16th? Let's end it the 16th, and we'll draw on the 17th. Yeah, that would probably be better. We'll close it sometime. Sometime. The 16th. As always. Maybe the 17th runs, morning. But you have at least, locked, at least through the, the 16th. 16th. Um, so if you are looking for some ideas for gift knitting, you have time to do this. If you want to finish up whatever your gift knitting is and then knit something, design and knit something for yourself, you have time to do that Mm -hmm. between now and the 17th. Um, So have fun. Oops. Oops. I just thought it was such a cool idea. Yeah. And so let your your creative show. Yeah. Have fun with it. Yay. Everybody loves to play with graph paper, right? Mm -hmm. I do. So... The Knitspiration hat along. Cool. Woo! Okay. Fun. All right. So I only have one other thing that I've been working on that I haven't shown yet. <clears throat> and this is so funny. Okay. So my chiropractor had a baby mm-hmm. this year, actually, mm-hmm. on my birthday. So it's kind of funny. But um, so they all have hand knit stockings. So my chiropractor and his wife our chiropractor both chiropractors they're chiropractors together yeah and um but i don't see her i and her name is also kelly um i see her husband and which doesn't make things probably get complicated quickly <laughs> it is <laughs> so anyway she emailed me because she was looking for somebody to knit a stocking for their new baby because her mom had knit all of them but she mm. can't knit anymore so and she wanted to know if i knew anybody who would do it and i'm like I'll do it for you. <laughs> nice. And um, so I've started it. Oh. And so his name, the baby's name, is going to go in the white. And then there's also a Christmas tree and a Santa that are going to get duplicate stitched on. So you knit the whole thing and then do everything else in du- duplicate stitch. Nice. It's worsted weight knit on fours. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, you guys. I was about ready to complain about my ribbing that I'm doing on fives right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. It's done on fours. It's a very sturdy stocking. It's not going to stretch. Really, it's not going anywhere. Look at the pattern, you guys. Oh, my gosh. This is almost an heirloom in itself. Oh, wow. Yeah. It is so fun. So it's like falling apart. I am so gentle with it. I actually took it and made just made photocopy of it Mm -hmm. because I didn't want to be handling this yeah this I mean it's been handed down and every family member that's ever knit it has like had some version of this pattern and like there's little scribble notes all over the back and everything it's awesome and um so I kept that I I made um a copy like I said and then tuck this back away and it's plastic bag to keep it safe because then you know in some ways like that because it's handwritten is almost as like valuable yeah. yeah so I didn't want anything to happen to it I think it's been it's been copied over so they've made photocopies of it before so somebody might have the original somewhere but then this one has a whole bunch of notes on it too probably from her mom yeah wow so it was just really cute so I'm plugging away at that I'm hoping to get this done 
relatively quickly um, just so I can turn around so they'll have it in time for Christmas. Oh, so, nice. Um, and nice. Um, she sent me pictures of theirs so I know what theirs look like and about how big theirs were finished up at because there's no gauge information on there because it was all handwritten. So I'm just kind of winging it. I'm like, I hope it's close. <laughs> but I was like, fours? Really? Uh, fours? Why? I know. <laughs> I know. So, but it's fine. Are you, why are you using the ultra wool for that? No, they gave me yarn. Oh, okay. It's okay. all acrylic. Oh, it probably matches what they have, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. So, it's fine, but. That is some dense, that is some <laughs> dense it? fabric. I know. That really stocking might stand up by itself. I know. When it's it done. might. So, right now it looks like the Italian flag or something. Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. So. Anyway. That's the other thing I'm working on. So that's probably what I'm going to be working on just because I really want to get it done. I'm going to the chiropractor next week, but I doubt I'll have it done by then because not on size fours. <laughs> if it were size seven or eights, no problem. No problem. But my hands, he better give me some like really good chiropractics in my hands. I'm going to yeah. tell him on size like, fours. <laughs> you're killing me here. I'll warm him up tomorrow. I'll, I see him on Friday. So. <laughs> that's right, you do. That's right. I'll be like, Tyler. You're torturing my business partner. You're torturing my business partner. (laughs) What's up with the stocking? I'm sure. And he doesn't really know anything about knitting, so it's really funny. She's knitting chain mail. (laughs) (laughs) He's going to be like, what are you talking about? Actually, he's going to be like, oh, no. I know he will be. They're they're the nicest people. They're just the nicest people. Super sweet. So cute. Um, That's funny. So speaking of um, doing nice things for other people, we have had um, so many donations. Oh my gosh! Of hats, you guys are mittens, amazing. Scarves, cowls. Um, it's it's overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Um, the generosity of all of you. People have mailed us stuff mm-hmm. and boxes, boxes. Full. And I know there's two or three people who have been posting out in the finished objects thread who are donating to their local charities yep. as well. Um, yep. Significant numbers of things, socks and, and some yep. other stuff. So And so anybody who has mail stuff to us, we've got a spreadsheet going mm-hmm. um, with um, people's names and their contact information yep. and how many items. So yep. we're going to put in the same number. So however many items yep. you sent, we're gonna, that's how many we're going to end up for our draw. Yep. yep. So we'll draw one out of that hmm. group. And then at, at least one out of that group. There's so many of them. We might oh have gosh. to do a couple of right. prizes. And then one out of the finished objects thread on Ravelry. Yes. Um, so that no longer is coming to a close. Um, tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> that would be tomorrow. Right. Um, I'm happy hmm. to keep it open uh, until, until we podcast week. next week. So oh. if you still have some things you want to drop off or get to us, um, mm-hmm. please go ahead or post away in the finished objects thread. Yeah. Um, we have coordinated with the two charities here locally that we're going to be providing. Um, and they're these. thrilled. They're so they excited. Um, so we have a batch, and I brought them over. I'm sorry, it's going to crinkle because I put them in some nice packaging. So we have, this is like six hats in here. And this is and just a small fraction yeah. of what you guys it's have sent some to us. Some more, like another six hats in there. And then I put together a package of mittens and um, fingerless gloves. Um, So this small subset right here, which is probably not even an eighth of what we have, it just I just pilfered some stuff Mm -hmm. real quick, uh, is going to be going to Spectrum Youth Services. Um, So they work with uh, sort of at-risk, troubled, homeless youth, um, but particularly younger, the younger Younger moms too. Um, so I'm going to be seeing a representative from that outfit tomorrow, which is why I kind of wanted to put some, some stuff together. We're probably going to give them some more, um, of what we have here. Uh, but I think the remainder we're going to divide between Spectrum and, um, COTS, which is, uh, a local agency here that runs a lot of the warming shelters, a Mm -hmm. lot of our homeless shelters. They do a lot of outreach. They, they, they deal with a lot of folks that are sort of in crisis. Yeah. Um, and they were just like, we will take anything that will keep yeah. people warm over the winter. Um, so they're really excited and we'll drop off um, a huge number of things to them as well yeah. on this next week. Yeah, you guys are so amazing. I mean, I, 
the last count, we had well over 100 items. Yeah. I mean, it was, and they are still coming in. Yeah. So I think we've gotten more. I think the 100, over 100 yeah. was at the start of the weekend, last weekend. Yeah. Um, and I know when I came in today, there was way more. I know in there oh, so um you guys have been yeah. fantastic phenomenal we thank you i know spectrum and cots thanks you yeah uh and you know i'm happy to just keep collecting stuff because yeah. these these folks can always use use this stuff oh yeah um so if, if you guys want to keep sending in i'm not necessarily going to run a knit along again if we get enough i might be like okay <laughs> i yield i will give prizes um but we're, I mean, I'm happy to keep collecting them and, and yeah. facilitating getting them to these organizations. Yeah. So, so thank you, everybody. Yep. We are really excited to start um, handing the stuff out. Yeah, it is. I know. Just, you know, other people knowing that their community is supporting, supporting them, them, it just, it makes a huge difference. Yep. Especially yeah. in, in trying times, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and here it just it gets so cold, and if you don't have, and it's been cold early, it's early been this really year. cold early, and if you don't have the proper attire, particularly hats and mittens, um, yeah. it's it's not fun yeah. to be outside. Yeah. So, um, so thank you, thank you, everybody. Yeah, we really appreciate it. We really do. Uh, um, all right, so that kind of got us jumped in through like some of our net alongs. <laughs> So that's the mint and tree coming to an end. Um, our holiday along is running through the end of December. That one's pretty self-explanatory. There's been some pretty awesome posts in the Ravelry. I have to um, check it out. Thread. I've been quite on Ravelry for a while. So yeah, we've um, jump on and check it out. I I joined the chatter and sort of finished objects thread mm-hmm. um, for this one. So it's just sort of a chattery have a good time, comment on things, um, post away. We'll do one just random post from that thread mm-hmm. and one sort of podcaster's <laughs> choice uh so that's how we're running prizes for that one uh through the end of the year and then the uh inspiration had along which is starting i haven't even put the details up on our show notes yet that's how new and hot off the press and just like it is. so i'm thinking as i was walking around the store <laughs> like what should we do for pit of pick of a week and i was like i got an idea <laughs> <laughs> Woo, woo. I contributed this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, all right. So, what else do we got going on here? Um, events. Uh, really, just kind of our couple of uh, classes coming up. The one for the ornaments, which, if you haven't seen Jen's ornament, we were talking about yeah, it a little bit really earlier. Cute. We have kits for those. Yep. Um, you can get them through the online store. We'll link to it in. Um and show notes, notes yep. so that you can get it. And if you don't want the whole kit, which does include the ball, the it's a it's an acrylic ball mm-hmm. um, ornament, then um, you can actually just get Jen's pattern on Ravelry. So yep. we'll link to both the kit and then also just the pattern as well, yep. uh, so that you can find those. Um, it's really cute, and she does Super include uh, a couple different. Uh, she didn't chart it; it's all written directions but a couple different patterns, uh, one snowflake and then the, the little squares um, yep. with a bead too, yeah. which is cute. Super cute. So um, definitely check those out. Super cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she's got a couple classes coming up in December, yep. one for the ornaments and um, mm-hmm. one for simple gifts. So it'd be things like mug cozies. And mm-hmm. um, I know she was kind of, she's been working on that. Uh, so if you're interested in those. Yep. Um, and then you sound like you're putting together the class schedule for maybe January, February, March. Yeah, I've had a lot of requests. A lot of people wanting to do socks. Um, I'm kind of going to do some of the Ravelry classes. Those have been really popular in the past. Nice. Um, Just kind of using a lot of the the features that we use on a regular basis, Um, the filters and things like that. Pattern filters are so amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. (laughs) I mean, you can really narrow in on something close to probably what you want in it by using the filters. Um, So I'm going to go, I'm going to do that again. Um, I probably will do... um, another beginning knitting class those are just really popular yep uh you know especially when people get gift cards and they kind of want to 
Yeah. Either get a refresher course or I want to get started with some a new project. I'm probably going to do some more of my SSK classes because those are really popular. A lot of times, you know, people are kind of stuck on a project um, and it, it gives them a, a nice way of getting unstuck with some, you know, a couple hours just to come and sit. And then if you get hung up, you can kind of, you know, yeah. get, walk through yep. whatever, wherever you're stuck. So, um so I'll have a little everything. I might. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing a crocheted steak class as mm. well. Um, so uh, th- that would be something. If that's something of interest to you, I know a lot of people are doing color work. Um, it's a little bit harder to do a sewn a machine sewn steak um, class. We don't have as much room. Well, we we could, I suppose, but had to have everybody bring their sewing machines. People would have to bring sewing machines um, or, yeah. Just, or we'd have to have a number of them. Yeah, yeah, so, but doing a crochet stick is really, really easy, and you and you need very basic crochet skills. <gasps> I'll sign up for that class. Angela can do, do the crochet stick. Do you think that steak. I could do the crochet stick? Angela can do the crochet stick. If I can do it, <laughs> all of you can do it. True fact. <laughs> so I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking about doing that um, because I like think of like the weekender sweater mm-hmm. if you or i mean the throwback mm-hmm. not the weekender i always want to call that. I, I don't know why i knew exactly what you, you meant I for knew some you reason did. yeah even though the weekender is another i pattern. know it's another one of her patterns <laughs> but not the color work one so throwback. throwback a lot of people have been um either doing it as a pullover or mm-hmm. they have been knitting it in the round so they don't have to do pearl color work mm-hmm. and then sticking it mm-hmm. so that would be a great you know i'll probably just have everybody come with a little swatch and we'll steak the swatch um yep. because it's a little st- it's a little less scary cutting a swatch than it is yeah. cutting, you know, your finished sweater. Oh, yeah. Um, so, but I've got in my video. You can watch me cut up the whole front of my sweater. Um, it's so fun. Once you've done it once, though, and you it's, know how to secure yeah. it, it's it's really. It's actually kind of fun. It is. It's a little liberating. Yeah, because you just want to cut everything. I'm just going to cut this. You're like, I'm going to knit everything in the round from now on and just cut it. Cut it. So, um, Yeah. So I will, I will. I think I'll do a seeking class. Cool. Um, you know, kind of change it up, do some some different things that we haven't done before. So nice. Yeah. So I just kind of have to sit down and work the schedule. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And the retreat. Yeah. Um, Got to work around the retreat. Got to work around the retreat because that's coming up in. <laughs> <laughs> I know what, like less than four months now. Yeah, it's like uh, less than three months actually, Is at this it? point. Yeah, because about, yeah, it's about exactly three months because it's the 28th. Like December, January, February. February 28th. Yeah, Through yeah. March 3rd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, okay, then. Um, so, yes, yeah, so if um, we do have a wait list for that. So if mm-hmm. you are interested and want to be added to the wait list, just shoot us an email. Uh, drop us an email and let us know. Yep. And we will let you know if a spot opens up. So yep. we're looking forward to it. Should be fun. Yep. And we're hoping for good weather. Yes. Or some wintry weather we once mind. people get here. Yeah. Some well, snow on the ground. Yeah. If it's cold but like pretty snow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who knows? Um, probably be. with our look, it'll be like brown. Yeah. But it's all right. That's it okay, because it's right on the lake, too, and it's still yeah. kind of cool. It happens sometimes that time of year. Yeah. It's brown. Oh, so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. We have the Snap and Go cases in stock now. Nice. So um, we've sold some of the colors through already. Um, the other thing that I am going to do, oh, my gosh, I got the cutest little set of I scissors. I saw Did you sitting see on your desk. Them? They are adorable. So they're very, very, very similar to these. They're just a stainless steel. They don't have the red on them. I should have grabbed a little set of them. But they're very similar to these. They're a little bit bigger than these. Little tiny snips. But they're little scissors, and they fit in the case perfectly. Nice. So we're going to put together some kits that are going to have all the little doodads in them. We're going to throw in a handy tool. We're going to do some stitch markers, uh, darning needle. So... Um, we're going to have those up. So those will be a little bit more expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, the regular Snap & Go case are $10 on the website. Um, and there are seven colors. Cool. And um, they're really super-duper handy. So Yeah. I've, um, I'm going to 
to buy one, another one. Buy another one. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a couple of them floating around. Because yeah. they're just, they're super. Yeah. Spicy. And those little scissors are really cute. They, they seem are. like they have a nice little sharp point on the tip on them. Nice. Too, so they should be good. Nice. Yeah. Super fun. I know. Um, I'm trying to think if I got anything else. Probably as soon as we stop, I'll be like, oh, we should have. Oh. I know. Oh. I know. all the time. I know. There probably is more, but mm. I haven't, I've, I've done a lot of knitting, but I feel like I haven't done a lot of knitting. I've yeah. got my little twig sweater too, but I haven't, I haven't worked on that since you guys saw it last because I was trying to get the mitts and done and then I'm working on the stocking now, so. I was like the mad yarn lady when I was here on Saturday, like plotting and planning and putting like seven projects together oh my gosh i was looking at all the fiber stash because i think we mentioned on the last one that we restocked on fiber stash and it's beautiful um oh the you other guys thing. have already dented the fiber stash that we like bought i, I can't know. believe how quick that's been going out the door it's well it's gorgeous it's, well, it's yeah just, our yarn is so amazing it's really so, lovely it's all fiber stash. um i know <laughs> um and we did get um it's still sitting in the box it just came in today or last night or something but um blue sky fibers some of their kits we got one of their kits the cowl kit and it's really lovely so it uses their american scenic yarn which is just a really lovely yarn so um they're not in the system yet but they probably will be soon they come in like one of their really cute bags that says blue sky fibers on it um and the yarn tucked in and the pattern and everything so those are really sweet so if you have a knitter that is hard to buy for and you don't know what to get them those would be a really nice yeah. gift um so uh, just keep an eye out for that. We will have those. Um, and we've, we're restocking on the wool stock. Um, we just got a big order from Plymouth in. There, I was going to say, there's just like box central I know. behind the counter I know. right now. We just got a bunch, uh, a big needle order in. I'm going to have to turn around and reorder needles again, though. Um, <laughs> you guys are digging the zings. It, it, it's really, it's just comical at this point. I know. Like it, it, that's usually, and and I, every time I order, I order more, more too. Yeah. So it's kind of funny, but um, but uh, it's yeah. it's it's great. The yeah. zings are really nice. Ange and I are both working with the zings. I may or may not have just bought these tips here because I didn't have any needles with me, and Look, I we're to using the same them. size. I know, same size. Um, so we've got the zings restocked. Um, but if their sizes were missing. We had a oh. lot of people needing oh, needles yeah, for new sure. projects, so we'll get some more yep. on order. Yeah, pretty quick turnaround. They 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 are pretty quick um, for turning stuff around, um, and they're on the west coast, but we get stuff fairly quickly from them. Yeah. Um, and then what was the other box that I saw? We got oh, haha! Ha, I know too. I didn't even open it yet, but I know what it is. So we got more West Yorkshire spinners. Um, they're four ply sock yarn, and we've got their Christmas colorway. So I haven't opened it yet, but it should be in there. It's the Fairy Lights one cool. this year. It's a self striping. It's really lovely. And then we've got the complementing um, the red and the green for heels, toes, cuffs too. Nice. Um, so that's not that's a brand new colorway this for this Christmas one. Um, and nice. so I'm going to get those in the system ASAP, too. Nice. And I did notice another box of uh, one of our local farmers' yes. yarn back there, mm -hmm. too. And I've got to get that in the system. So I'm going to be, my fingers are going to be flying on the keyboard flying getting that stuff on the in. Keyboard. Yeah. I know, because so. I will say our, um, our local wall here it's was selling. looking a little sparse. Yeah, we've, we've been, been selling, selling a ton, ton of local yarns. It's People are really loving to be able to support the local yeah. farms, which is yeah. awesome. And I love it because I know each and every one of the farmers. And Makes me so happy. They are all so amazing that it's, nice it's so fun to be able to support them. And when they get the checks, so we do most of our local yarns on consignment. Mm -hmm. So every month I go through and write checks for them. And they're like, thank you so much for your checks every month. I mean, because to them, you know, they it's work so hard. Deal. And yeah, yeah, so we love to be able to support them. Yeah. And part of the reason why we um, do their yarns on consignment is so we can make sure that we are able to put as much money as possible back we into their We take a very project. small cut of it. It's basically just to mm -hmm. kind of handle the administrative fees that 
I mm, yeah. <laughs> that I do on a monthly basis, going yep. through all the yarns that I've sold. Yep. Um, so and we so that they can we work really hard to try to maximize their um, their profits. Their profits. Yeah, because they don't. I mean, they don't even even that way. They still don't make yeah. a lot of money on their yarns mm-hmm. um, because processing is is pretty so, pricey. Yeah, especially because a lot of them don't do the quantity where they could you Get know big discounts. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So anyway. Yes. The workings of the yarn industry. I know. But we have some really great sort of local processors, but it's still, it's not cheap for them to run their their, um, their mills and their processes. It takes time. It's all very time intensive. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of steps involved in it. I know. I got a tour recently of the Green Mountain Spinnery, Mm -hmm. and I, I really had no idea. And as we were walking through, I was like, God, I didn't realize there were so many steps and so yeah. many touches and places and they were like yeah and I was like yeah it's amazing that that skein of yarn there is ten dollars and 99 cents yeah I know right I know. <laughs> it's just it's incredible yeah um so yeah and they you know their yarns are are you know, pretty moderately priced. They're not green mount spinner yeah. yarns. Yeah, no, they really are. They're a are. great price range, and they have some really lovely yarns mm-hmm. um, and some great new patterns coming out with their. Oh with my their gosh, yarns. they really do have. They've got some lovely, lovely patterns. Gage Hill just released a cute waffle hat pattern. Yes, isn't and, that um, sweet? The mitts. fingerless mitts. They're giving. They're giving some of those away. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, they use the DK uh, music. I think. Yes, the music. Um, Mm-hmm, which we've got that in yep. stock. We've got the music, the Sylvan Spirit, yep. um, Alpaca Elegance. Yep. Um, and I know um, Mina no, Phillip did design that entire the hat, hat series. The hat collection, yep. Um, around the DK and the um, their worsted line, yep. which we know we have in stock now. So Yep. <laughs> yeah, we have we had the Mountain Mohair, but then we brought in the Weekend Wool, too, yep. um, which we've got this really pretty rag wool. Mm. It's it's the two that are marled together, mm-hmm. um, and we not the rag time that they haven't started wholesaling yet. Maureen said they're working on that, um, so she said she let me know as soon as they did because nice. that was some that I bought and yep. I showed you guys um, after Vermont Sheep and Wool. Yeah, that stuff was really cool. Um, it is very cool, and they've got some really pretty patterns for that too. But um, I'd say that's the other thing that's so amazing about the Green Mountain Spinnery folks is their patterns are so, and they're coming out with new ones all the yeah. time. And they're good people. And they're super fun. We like them a lot. <laughs> Hi, Larissa. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I know. I know. It's awesome. We should talk to the legacy lady. Well, they're going to be at the retreat. I was going to say mm-hmm. we should see if some of these folks want to do a trunk show. But a lot of these a lot of these our favorite folks are coming to the retreat. Yes, they are. And are going to be at the uh, marketplace there. We're going to have so. so much fun. Oh my gosh. We I should have an wait. after party with all of them. I've invited them all to stay for dinner. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That'll yeah. be fun. Yeah. So if the weather's good, <laughs> let's let's hope the weather's good and then they can all stay and hang out with us mm-hmm. for dinner. That would be so fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I've invited all of them oh, to good. dinner. Good. Good, good. Yeah. Super fun, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. I think we've about about wrapped it up for this time. We wrapped it up. Yep. We didn't have that many funny outtakes either. I know. I was expecting to have at least more photo. I think my kid's just so into the iPad right now. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He's not bothering us. That's, you know. (laughs) I was expecting at least one outtake with him. He was pricing stuff earlier for Andrea. I know. She put him to work. I know. It's awesome. I know super helpful he likes checking people out too he mm-hmm. likes playing with a scanner the scanner yep yeah i was like don't drop that that's really expensive <laughs> <laughs> pretty valuable piece of equipment <laughs> slows us down for sure if it's out of commission yeah, yeah. yeah. anyway you next week we're good for next week um maybe yes i think so okay. so we'll probably see you guys next week Thanks so much to all of our new viewers. We've had a lot of new viewers sign up yeah. recently. So we hope that you've been enjoying the podcast. Um, and to all of our returning viewers, thank you. We always love having you come back and chit chat with us in comments and through Instagram and all the other places. Um, I've gotten some really lovely emails from some of you guys lately, too. Um, and 
yeah. you know, just appreciating us giving back and the podcast in general. And yeah. and we love doing this. So yep. um, as mm-hmm. long as you guys keep loving it, we're going to co- try to keep on doing it. And, yep. um, and we'll see you next week. Absolutely. Okay. Bye. Bye. So far away. I can't reach it, but it seems <laughs> like we're close. Mm-hmm. People can watch us next. Yeah. Or me cast on. Hmm. What are you making now? What am I making now? Um, hats. So I saw this. Is this the one that you... Yeah, what are the chances that I'm going to knock my coffee off over here? Uh-oh. Probably pretty good. It's like the leaning tower of yarny stuff. This Knitspiration hat. I think it's free right now. So she gives you like the design, basically design your own hat, mm-hmm. color work hat. Oh, that's me making photocopies. Um, also set up for if you want to pattern this nice little gift thing that you can include yeah. in and some color work. Oh, that's fun. Just different stitches. Stitches. Um, that's really smart. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's cute. So, um, that's one that William and I walked through for his teacher, and then um, picked that one for his after-school teacher, and then that one for his dad. Nice. So, and then now I get to knit all of them. <laughs> I thought I was going to keep him occupied this morning by giving him a couple of these sheets and be mm-hmm. like, draw out what you want me to mm-hmm. make. And that clearly did not, because <laughs> this is all me. <laughs> gotcha. Now you're going to be even busier. So now I'm going to be even busier, but that's okay. Hats are good. Hats are good. They're worse weight hats. So I'm going to run this as a knit along. Cool. I think I'm going to start it December 1st. Cool. And run it through like the that's middle Saturday. of... That's Saturday. I know. Isn't that crazy? I know. And run it through the middle of January, and people can have fun if they are looking for gift knit ideas or want to play around with color work or want to do something for themselves. That's what I thought. That's fun. Yeah. Fun, fun. Yeah. Ugh, there's some haste. Yeah. There we go. So, anyway. That's the Leaning Tower of Hand Knit Things. So Starbucks has this new seasonal yeah, latte. It's called the uh, Juniper Latte. Mm. They have it up at the Market Thirty One. Oh, that yeah. one. I don't know if they have it at other ones. I've just yeah. that's the only one I've been in recently. Yep. Yeah. It's um, juniper and sage. And it's actually quite good. It's not sweet. It's mm-hmm. very sort of citrusy Savory. and smooth. Huh. It was very interesting on the palate and actually quite delicious hmm. yeah i love sage so so you might want to just you know that's interesting give it a go i was i saw that and i s- was talking to a lady about it and she's like i'll just she goes, i'll make you one and if you don't like it she goes i will just dump it out and you can make something else so i'm wondering if they've had people who have tried it and been like oh this is horrible yeah. she goes you know it's not sweet and i'm like no it's it's fine i don't really like yeah. super sweet coffee yeah um is delicious so cool just saying (laughs) very cool yeah so i've been a knitting machine cool yeah i have all kinds of finished objects i have a few one was already knitted which is very obvious (laughs) <laughs> one of mine is too because <laughs> I'm wearing it <laughs> mm-hmm. it's really pretty thank you I love your sweater thanks it's really warm I bet it is it's not super cold outside either I was for a while running around without my coat and then the wind kicked up and I was like <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to put my coat back yeah, on. Yeah, I had a light coat over this because the wind was chilly, and it's not really windproof, but it's really warm. Like, if there, if it was dead calm, 
I would yeah. definitely not. I would wear this as my coat yeah. today. Yeah. It's like, what, mid-30s? Something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Oh, you know what else I was going to grab? Mm -mm. Um, one of Jen's ornament kits. Oh, yeah, those are cute. Since the pattern's out somewhere. Oh, yeah? Cool. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I can't remember where we sent it. Just remember the little cable mugs that we have. Yeah. I used one of those boxes and it fit in there perfectly. Oh, nice. Because I didn't want to just send it in an envelope because I didn't want yeah. to get squashed. Though I was giving her about a bad time on, on a email, not really bad time, but whatever thing you're supposed to hit behind the scenes to allow people to sell it in store wasn't activated, so you can only buy it online. Oh. So I emailed her and I was like, um, so did you mean to do that? She was like, no. That's so funny. <laughs> I was like, no, that's all right. We can't even sell the pattern in our store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on Ravelry? Yeah, on Ravelry. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> That's really funny. Thankfully, it's an easy switch. Yeah. She was like, oh, man. That's so funny. She was like, no, I swear I clicked that part. I was like, what? Well, just, just letting you know. Just so you know. <laughs> just so you know, you can't actually buy it in store right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. We can at least link to it in show notes because the little display, the ornaments are tied to the little bin, so... We'd have to bring the whole thing. Oh, yeah. But anyway, so Jen, our partner, designed this really cute Christmas ornament, mm -hmm. knitted Christmas ornament. Are you finding your okay? Yeah, I do. They don't have This is a silent portion of our podcast. Just watching us sit and right. cast on it. It was so dead when I got here. <laughs> I know. The podcast always... It's people I, in. Well, that's why I was telling Andrea because her eyes were kind of getting big, and I was like, "This is pretty normal." Like, mm -hmm. there was a run there where literally we called it the podcast jinx because the second we sat down to start podcasting, the store would just go not so. so all right, I'm just gonna throw a stitch marker in here, and then I am ready. Okay. To be probably. Yeah, I have yeah. a lesson that for so. All right, and I gotta go pick up a dog, and then a second kid, and. So William might be making a guest appearance on the podcast if he ever wanders back here because mm -hmm. he's here today. Though he's currently looking up sports stuff on the iPad, our backup iPad. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. <coughs> All right. Oh, we're ready. 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 Okay. Ready.